team fights here. You're going to be a powerhouse if you get there. At the same time, Liquid, they have a lot to combat that team fight with displacement with the Tuscar. And if you give him a first blood again, first blood. the second first blood. They're going to jump on a Makoto here for the slowdown attack. He's with a beautiful Fisher. They do have the Dawnbreaker, though. And that's going to be the extra bit of help that they need to be able to burst down. Makoto, Nisha comes in. Can he finish him? They do. Zai managed to bring him down, but Nisha's going to have to give up his life for that one. And Jabs is on cleanup right now. Two kills all day. It looks like he's gone through that stage five five. Still has changed, but he's gonna be caught too! Revealing himself with a blink dagger. Jabs, he'll die. He's gonna be in a boat, right? Yeah. Just walk up mid lane, you get Echo Slam. Maybe not expecting the blink to be this fast, but it was ground boost. Rush by Quick Thunder, the burst damage. It comes in. They collect pretty quickly on that one, but 23 is committed heavily to be able to finish up this tower. Might pay the ultimate price for it is Boxy. Gets him down. Tag team, that's pretty easy. Boxy's gonna be left behind though. It's uh, the punch finally comes through. You can they control him up easily. First and down, Jazz. Dawnbreaker coming in for an extra stun. The extra bit of burst damage required as well. Getting the initiation, and they're gonna get some information here. Talon inside the pit. Three of them caught in this ice blast, but it's only Nisha who's nearby. They go for the Zeus. They found an opening. Here, Boxy Dyer's scouted out to survive. Radiant three racks for 23. Radiant and he's still Oscar. halfway through his meta. Vicky going in with Silverhead. Trying to get a little bit scouting, but Q, who they wanted, and managed to get the TP away. They do have the Dawnbreaker ultimate. They all managed to hop out of it, so no chance. They are high. 23 is beating back Mickey. Nisha goes to the kill. On to Q, diving with his BKB. Actually, the last second of the sun. Not quite good enough. Still, though. Talent are retreating successfully, even if it is a one for two. They don't get caught too much here. They've walked away with a kill on the carry. Oh, look at the liquid. ward. Boxy keeps everything right now. Gets the punch up in the air, quickly burst down all the time coming through. A beautiful hit from the stun and getting good damage in for the BKB. Just came in for 22 stats. Got stunned up though. It's gonna be maybe losing his first punch. Pops it down. BKB trying to commit to the kill on the side and he barely gets it, but there it is. The life goes down, Zai's gonna walk away. Now he doesn't have a BKB on his second life. This is bad for 23, bad for Talon. If they could have gotten away, but Team Liquid. Liquid can turn it around. You have your support alive. That was a pay for you, Nisha. Nisha again, just diving in deep because the last the Dawnbreaker to get the positioning. And once again, they kill, kill first. This time around, the Supernova is gonna go down, but Team Liquid are being able to disengage away from it. They can't let Zai get away. No way that he gets out of this for free. So they'll kill him. He's gonna break some smokes, and that gives an opportunity for the jump in from Nisha. But they pop their BKB on Jazz. They didn't quite finish up the initiation onto the Earth Shaker. Maybe they do get him. Pull back in. Once again, Dawnbreaker comes in to finish off the job. Zai goes for the kill, and he'll bring down Q. They can't do anything about these BKBs. They're trying to draw it out, but oh, all he's gonna join. not really been hitting you. But they got it. Oh, Jack picked up the Aegis. 23 is gonna have that extra life. Is he gonna be fine though? Mickey right in there with a BKB, but he's no, oh, the mechanic. Well, I still go like, oh, hey, Mickey. He managed to push through both of those heroes. One versus two, and the rest of town are crumbling to the initiation of the Storm Tier. The Ghost gonna try and get away, but remember, this was an all in. They took away the Aegis. That means 23 can't join in this fight. They buy back, but for what? The supports will not have cores join them in this second part of the fight, and they're just gonna be hunted down now. Die back. On the side. Jabs used his buyback earlier. Number 10 for him would be a death sentence here. Uh, Mickey gets close. Pops the break. He gets up to BKB though. This time around, the Fisher is really nice. They're going to turn around and try and deal with the Chipper Chippernova. Mickey's hitting it. He's still going to it while they also finish off the Terra Blade. No Thunder opportunity. They pop the cheese on Jabs, but without a Terra Blade, there's really nothing left for Talon. They're going to call it here. GG. Team Liquid continuing to have... Hey, what's up, Habibi? The International has come, and if you want to bet on your favorite teams, check us out now at rivalry.link slash Chanong. We currently have some promos and raffles for you, especially the Rivalry Battle Pass. Get a chance to win a gaming chair, a mobile phone, a PS5, a gaming rig, a motorcycle, and even a gold bar. All you need to do is make a same game combo with at least 100 peso bet and an odds of at least 1.5. The more same game combo bets you make, the more entries and more chances for you to win. Visit us now at rivalry.link slash Chanong. Always bet responsibly and have a good day ahead. Alright.